Hmm, my jar. Before now, everyone actually believed that Burisky, whose name is Idris Ogunaye, served the six-month sentence in prison after abusing Naira, the local currency. But guess what? He never did. Bob Risky closest friend and his ex just leaked one touching video. Where Bob Risky revealed to him he never entered prison but in an apartment enjoying himself. My country people, things really happen for this Nigeria. I'm going to drop the video for you guys for proper understanding. But before that, if you are noticing this channel for the very first time, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I publish a new video. At this point in time, let's hit on the main video. I've got another evidence of Babriski being in an apartment and I'm going to play it now with the chats he sent to me that period as well. Check it out guys. That's Babriski chilling in an apartment when we thought he was in prison. That was why he came out with so many pictures because basically he was just there chilling and going to the studio to take pictures to pepper us when he comes out but he was never in prison that was why Bobrisky had a lot of pictures to post when he came out Bobrisky had 15 million naira to spend on cake he spent a lot of money on doing his party when he came out but he never kept to his words he never compensated me that shows he is not a reliable person Bobrisky was chilling in an apartment he never ever went to prison I applaud very dark black man for covering this and I am backing him up on this. I'm saying it categorically that Bob Risky never went to prison. Bob Risky, the mummy of Lagos, was never in prison. Bob Risky was chilling in an apartment. And when Bob Risky was in that apartment, he was chatting with me. You all know that I never support very dark black man. But on this case, I am backing Very Dark Man up. But Brisky was never in prison. As a matter of fact, you all know that I've been supporting Bob Brisky. I defended him when Very Dark Black Man called him out as G-A-Y. When Very Dark Black Man called him a transgender and older. I came out, I defended him because I do not like seeing people oppressed, irrespective of their sexuality. But you know what? But Brisky is an ungrateful person. He doesn't keep to his words. But Brisky never compensated me for everything I did for him on social media. I defended him a couple of times and you guys know that. He's an ungrateful person and I'm here with proof. He never ever went to prison. Check out the voice notes But Brisky sent me when he was in an apartment chilling like a villain hi good morning how are you see I, i'm really grateful i'm really really grateful god bless you i see everything you do i see all your posts people have been telling me or this guy has been saying good things about you has been posting you thank you so much I'm fine like I'm very very fine so don't be worried don't um, don't be stressed I'm really fine don't worry I'll tell you some things probably when I'm when uh, I'm in position to explain to you better I would explain uh, everything to you you know but I'm very fine like I'm very very fine so I'm okay <laughs> I know people are people are scared, they're worried. Oh, Bobby's kids in the prison, Bobby's kids this. <laughs> I'm very okay. I'm fine. Um, thank you so much. Thank you one more time for everything you've been doing. God bless you. Uh, it's so sad that um, I was asked not to post anything. If not, I would have reposted all your videos. And I will post everything. I appreciate you. But immediately when it is time for me to do that, that will be the first thing I'm going to do. Thank you and have a wonderful day. You're a star and nothing will stop your shine, trust me. All these people saying rubbish on the internet, they're not rich now. They're not rich. They're just online blabbing. Blabbing. Internet warriors. Keep at warriors. Keep living. Keep doing your thing. God got you. I'm happy you are fine. That's the voice of Bob Risky and myself conversing in a voice note. Bob Risky said to me that I shouldn't worry 
that a lot of people are thinking he's in prison, but he's not. But Brisky never ever went to prison. Him coming out to say that Very Dark Man lied and saying that the voice in that voice note Very Dark Man played wasn't his. It's a big joke. That was Bob Risky speaking to someone. You can also compare that voice note played by Very Dark Man and this voice note are played and you will tell that it was Bob Risky. Bob Risky was never ever in prison. And trust me, Bob Risky took that 4 million naira from that guy and didn't want to refund him because Bob Risky does not keep to his words. Bob Risky was meant to compensate me for defending him online, but he never did. That's to show you that Bobrisky never ever keeps to his words. Bobrisky is a manipulator. Bobrisky is not a sincere person. And if you ever want to do business with Bobrisky, be careful because he is not reliable. I've got another evidence of Bobrisky being in an apartment and I'm going to play it now with the chats he sent to me that period as well. Check it out, guys. That's Bob Risky, chilling in an apartment when we thought he was in prison. That was why he came out with so many pictures because basically he was just there chilling and going to the studio to take pictures to pepper us when he comes out. But he was never in prison. That was why Bob Risky had a lot of pictures to post when he came out. Bob Risky had 15 million naira to spend on cake. He spent a lot of money on doing his party when he came out, but he never kept to his words. He never compensated me. That shows he is not a reliable person. But Brisky was chilling in an apartment. He never ever went to prison. I applaud very dark black man for uncovering this and I am backing him up on this. I'm saying it categorically that Bob Risky never went to prison. George sent Bob Risky go prison. Someone brought an evidence, a recording of Bob Risky himself, implicating himself that he didn't have to do a sentence, which was six months. Instead, he paid 15 million for an organization we are supposed to trust, but they as a bride and he was in an apartment the whole time. Now, I expected noise. I expected an uproar from people. Wait, even if you don't like the journalist that brought the gist out. Uh -uh, this is an evidence now. That person went to jail now. These people will go to jail if they did the same thing. Why didn't he go to jail? Guess what my emotional Nigerians did? Nah, I hate this guy. This guy needs to shut up. They do you now understand why Nigeria would not work? Do you understand why petrol is so expensive and a lot of you cannot afford Indomie? You want to play partiality? Is this a game of emotions? Eh, we just the start. Make everything just there as it is. Let's keep lying to ourselves. Emi wo wa yin ni se se gbogbo ile imo very dark man no le mama bafa. Se bo lo fe so to e je ma so. Alright, uh, BFCC, I saw your press release, so let me respond to you people now. So, uh, press statement. Executive Chairman of the Economy and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, Mr. Ola Olukoyede, has ordered immediate investigation of alleged bribery allegation imputed to some officers of the commission by Idris Okunaye, aka Bobriski, in a viral video circulating across the country. Okunaye and ex convict had alleged in the video powered by Martins Vincent Ote, aka Very Dark Man, that some unnamed officers of the EFCC collected the sum of 15 million naira only from him to drop only for from him to drop the money laundry charges against him. In a swift reaction, the EFCC boss have constituted a team of investigators to critically look into the allegations to the end. The commission hereby invites Okunaye and Ote to make themselves available in Lagos Directorate to assist the investigations investigators on earth the alleged bribery. Number one. Okay, so first things first. In everything this press release is saying, the press release did not even say the one that is within their own range. What do I mean by within their own range? Why didn't they say something like the EFCC is 100 percent certain that Bobriski was in the prison. 
I mean, because the FCC has the power to know that. You understand? Uh, Bob Risky is their suspect that they put in prison. Do you understand? It is their duty to be certain, to be sure that Bob Risky, they, they were supposed to be going there to check that he's there. Do you understand? So if the person that released this statement could not confirm that Bobrisky was in prison, then it's a problem. I don't know if people are getting my point. Secondly, before you invite somebody like me to come, you have to invite and make sure you do a deep investigation on your own officers first. Then when you don't get the results that you desire from your own officers, when I mean your own officers, I mean those officers that handled Bobrisky's file. Do you understand? The officers that handle Bob Risky's file, you need to bring all of them together. All the ones that handle this file. Do you understand? The one that was investigating him is IPO. Everybody. Make sure you bring them together. Investigate them thoroughly. Check their accounts. Check everything they were up to. When you are done with them, that's why you can say, okay, the FCC wishes to invite Mr. Martins Vincent Hotel, aka Very Dark Black Man. Do you understand? Now, you are telling me to come to Lagos and the headquarters of EFCC is in Abuja. It makes no sense. Rather, I would rather say you should tell Bob Risky to come to Abuja and you will investigate. Do you understand? Uh -huh. And lastly, the reason why I will not go to Lagos is this. Me, I don't have 15 million naira to pay for anything. Do you understand? And I don't have any godfather anywhere. Me, they don't come carry me go for prison. I don't have any godfather anywhere. Before now, troop me from prison. And I don't have 15 million naira just in case when I open something against me. Because now I can't trust you people now. I can't trust you. You can't decide to set me up. You can't decide to set me up. I don't trust you people, yeah? So, I don't think I ought to go to Lagos. So, this is the headquarter here. Yeah? Bring it here. Let them investigate it here. I am not coming. I don't trust you people. I will not go. Anything you want, first investigate your people. Do you understand? After that, you can talk to me. But coming to Lagos, that one is out of it. Do you understand? I know they go. And even if I decide, say, I won't go. Let's just assume, say, I decide. You go book me first class ticket. You go book me private security. You go book five star hotel. No, not five star hotel. You go book me, uh, what's the name of this hotel ready for? Radisson. No, no, be radishing. Why you might do heal things? I might do a coat. Eh? I might do that eh, borough, that West borough, where they, I might do four points. Each of them I go do self. You get one for a keja. Go do me that hotel. Do you understand? Uh -huh. You don't just tell me, say, you are sending me invitation, make I come with my own money. For what? Nami, Nami call it 15 million naira. Nobody will say, I call it 15 million naira. Don't play, else you're going to learn and you will learn the hard way. Baba, to risky. Come forward. Your mat's not the clothes. Your mat. You know the clothes, Bob. Because I don't understand. I did try, like, so hard to understand. But I know they feel they understand, Bob. What exactly be your problem? For those of you who have um, listened to the um, voice notes from Very Dark Man, I have a lot to say. A whole lot. One, who was on the other side of that call? I be that voice message. It looks like a call. Who was on the other side in the choir? That you trusted so much that you 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 were not only talking, you were even mentioning names at the same time, Bob. You are not the first person to have EFCC case and the charges were dropped. You are not the first to beg or to appeal or to look for a way. Everybody wants life to be easy. Everybody wants to get out of trouble. So I don't blame you for that one. But who did you trust enough to, to make that call? And you were actually quoting out names. For those of you who have not listened, Auntie Baba Risky came to give us gist. 
how he uh, he allegedly uh, she allegedly paid 15 million naira how Faz reached out to her fast fa uh, fast father how a uh, uh, her godfather called the uh, controller general of prisons and they got apartment all of us will say you know they will carry before but this particular gist was this supposed to come out? Was it even something you were ever supposed to say to anybody on a call? Knowing how much Nigerians do not like you. People that like you in this country are a handful. A lot of people just like the fact that when you do bad books with people, they collect sound, they laugh. That is all. The people who genuinely love you know plenty. And Bob. But still. And why have you not even called out the person that you made this conversation with? So we know the person particularly. We want to know. That's aside. And why of all people, why does he have to be very dark man that touches the clips? Why? How did they get to very dark man? I'm seeing you posting Bible... Uh, Bible whatsoever on your story. That's not the question. How did Very Dark Man assess those voice notes? I mean, those call records. You are posting Bible quotes. Bible quotes will not save you from this. Except this is a planned cloud. Like, you intentionally posted this. Like, you intentionally wanted to trend with this. This will land you in another round of trouble. Oh yes. Another round. When I mean another round. Another majestic round. Hmm? Of trouble. Baba to risky. Me and my secrets, they go grave. I don't get anything while they share. Trust me. If I must share. Now wait till I go there shamelessly and bold to talk about. Say yes, I talk up. I don't give two f ah. Person where you borrow money from, when you they owe, you don't want pay. But the person know your secret. It makes sense. Now from what I did see for comments on my previous video, allegedly that they say now the guy when he they owe money. We're very drag, dark man, drag her for. And the guy and I sent that the voice notes give very dark man. But see where you get your secrets for Pam. You the follow and the do Allah. How wise. How mature. How sensible. That aside, this is on a, on a message to Uma. Where you know the close mouth. Share us. Good news, oh, bad news, oh, average news, oh, or when we were on the car, they took both. So it it shut up. Sometimes you have to you go, oh, you're my cool run. You shut up. Every day they talk. Are you Bob? Where you know, say, very dark man, go see matter where cause you may close the eye. Your downfall, like greatest delight. You still they give her room. Where go taste the shoe for your eye? Head the big pass conk. Head the big pass conk. You talk about at the same time, very dark man not get safe for many, many things where they talk. Because I don't see the reason why you say Bob Risky does not have the right to beg for an appeal or pay for an appeal or pay for charges to be dropped when you literally was begging the video to pardon uh, Dan Danny Crane, I've been a Danny K Karina, wait it be name. As pardon, don't become bad thing all of a sudden. So it get people where you they fight or the pardon for. Well, I will get at all of you now. 